Hey, Renee, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for responding to our Facebook ad and um, requesting this free custom marketing strategy plan specifically for your business. Um, congratulations on requesting this. Once you are able to apply this, it's going to give you amazing results. And so, yes, to answer the question um, that you messaged us, this customized plan should you choose to work with us the customized plan we would develop with you to reach your goals will be specifically designed to do just that for these services emergency restoration is our specialty um we know this inside and out and we've seen the results we know this can work for you especially in the area that you're servicing all right so um to get started and we're going to hop over here to Google. That's where most people start. So when somebody does a search in Google for a search term, one of the first things that are going to pop up are going to be ads. They could be the cost per click ads or the Google guaranteed ads. Cost per click is as it sounds. When somebody sees your ad, click on it. You pay for that click. Um, Google guaranteed is a little bit more expensive but um you only get charged for actual leads if they don't end up being a lead google refunds you um, so there's more of a process to it it does cost a little bit more but this ad space is one place that you can own on google to really grow and scale your business about 10 percent of people will actually click on those ads the second spot um one of the most inspiring important spots that you want to be is in this Google Maps section here. Okay. This is your Google Map Pack, your Google My Business Profile. Um, I did a search and I'm not seeing that you have one. It doesn't mean you don't have one. I just didn't see it. So um, this is a very, very critical position being in this top three here because almost 30% of people go straight to this Map Pack when they do a search and they'll contact one of these top three companies. So if you're not up here in this top three, if you don't have an optimized page, you're leaving tons of money on the table and you're sending all those leads to these competitors. Now, in order to get into the top three, there are several factors. One, you do have to have a Google business profile. You then need to optimize it and you need to do better than what your competitors are doing. So um, you're going to need more pictures. You're going to have to work on getting reviews and try and get more reviews than them. You're going to have to optimize the content. Um, there's several different factors there. Um, one of the biggest factors, though, is something called citations. And that is simply just listing the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories. The more relevant the directories, the higher quality directories, the better you're going to be. Um, and that's going to help you get into this top three. Now, you don't want to just get in the top three um, for just one keyword. You have various services. So you want to be in the top three for each of your major services and in the areas that you service. All right. And then the most important spot to be is going to be here this is called your organic section because the old traditional ways of marketing doesn't work anymore and people are on their laptops and cell phones you have to be where the people are that are looking for you they're not if they're having a fire emergency water emergency they're not going to scroll facebook hoping to find an ad for you right they're going to go and they're going to search google or they're going to search yelp um and so that's where you need to be. And so um, this top, this is the first company in the organic section um, right below Yelp. So this looks like it's part of the Steam team out there. Um, so this is your top organic section. This is where you want to be because almost 70% of people so we'll skip your ads, skip the maps, and come straight to the organic section. These are the most trusted 
websites by Google. And that's where most people go to find who's going to help them. All right. So um, we will look at their website in a second, but let's jump back to your website real quick. All right. So you have a website. That's awesome. Your website is secured. That's awesome. That's very important. So you're part of the way there. Now, having a website is absolutely critical. If this is built and designed correctly, this is like your virtual ATM machine. This is what's going to draw those leads um, organically. So you won't have to rely on paid services and referrals um, and TPAs and things of that nature. Okay. So this is absolutely critical for you. So um, I do like the logo. It actually looks like one of the logos that I created. Um, one of This looks like one of my original logos. So definitely like the logo. Um, I like that you have a click to call phone number. I would take it a step further and have your form up at the top of your page instead of the bottom, because you don't have a whole lot of time to capture the interest of the people landing on your page. Um, but despite that websites are really built for search engines. And so you, while you do need a separate page for every one of your services, your home page is one of the most important pages and um, it needs to have a minimum of at least a thousand to fifteen hundred words of content focused around your local buyer intent keywords. Um, those are going to be the keywords people are actively searching in your service area. So in Colleen, Coppers Cove, Fort Hood, Waco, all of those areas, Austin, that you service, right? So those are the keywords that people are going to be searching. So your content has to be built around that so you can be found for your services in those areas. The homepage should be a summary of each of your services. You have a little bit of information here, but not really enough to really be getting indexed um, or have Google find you an authority for this type of service. So one of the biggest things that you will have to do is going to have to add a lot more written content. Um, let's see, I'm not able to do anything with these photos. So I don't know if you optimize those correctly, um, but all photos need to be optimized. They should be optimized with your local keywords. Um, I would have a separate page for your about you section and meeting the team. But I do like that you're showing the team. That's great. Um, it, it helps with trustworthiness for sure. Um, you have some reviews on your page, so that's good. That's pretty much it. You don't have the required um, links that you need on the bottom. Um, legally, by law, you do have to have... Um, Sorry, I went blank there for a second. You need to have a privacy policy by law on your page. Um, you need to have a separate page for each service, as I mentioned, and you should have a separate page for each service area that you service. If there's a service area that has search volume for your services, you need to utilize that so you can be found in each area you service. While you do have these pages, you really don't have any content or any relevant keywords. Um, <clears throat> so this is really holding you back. So you're definitely going to have to optimize your page and then support it with SEO so it can be found online. If we look at your competitor, not a great website. Um, they do have separate pages for their services like you guys do. Um, but one thing you can notice is they are going after local relevant buyer intent keywords and they got a ton more content so you're gonna have to have more content than your competitors better content and really focus on your local keyword strategy um, these guys are beatable you're just gonna have to put in a little bit of work here um, let's take a look at this this is a program called a refs it tells us how your website is performing um, 
looks like I can't tell if this is a brand new website or if you just started recently doing something with the website. Um, but you have a rating here of a zero out of a hundred in Google's trust flow. This is your domain rating, the whole website as a whole. Um, and that's zero out of a hundred. That means Google doesn't trust your website um, because it doesn't have enough content. It doesn't have enough authority. And, um, and that's because of your backlinks and referring domains. You really don't have any. Um, you're going to need a lot of these. You're going to need more than your competition, but they are not all created equal. This is a popularity contest. Um, and you're only going to get credit for one backlink per referring domain. Now, referring domain, if you think of that like a power source, like, like your um, plug-in in your wall, and then the backlink is going to be the power cord coming from that referring domain to your website, that, that's going to be like the power cord that plugs into your website that fires up your favorite device. So without that power... Your website doesn't have any power. It's not going to be found. Um, it's not going to have the authority it needs. So um, you're going to need a lot more of these. You you have been indexed, surprisingly, um, with 56 keywords. And you are getting a couple people on average to your website per month. Looking at these keywords real quick, there's only one keyword that you're actually ranking for, and that is your brand which is great. That is important, but your brand is also a national keyword. So those nine people that have landed on your site may not actually be in your service area. So it is really, really important to not just focus on brand because most people won't know who you are. They're going to search by the service they need, not your brand. So definitely got to focus on that keyword strategy. If we look at your competitor, they also have a pretty low score despite having over 400 backlinks and 39 referring domains. It just means that most of these domains are pretty poor quality, um, but they do have more. They have been indexed for more keywords, and so they're getting a lot more traffic, and that is because their authority is higher, and they've been able to rank higher for these local keywords. So they are on the first page for a number of these important keywords. And you can see this volume here, the number of people searching monthly just for these keywords. So there's multiple variations of keywords. You want to use as many as possible to take advantage of that. And that's why it's so critical to really optimize your website correctly. I hope this audit has been very helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and I look forward to talking to you soon.